Hey guys, I've got this big box that I can't even really fit in the screen of over a hundred items that I brought at scrapbooking.com. I decided I'd splurge and I realized I was getting up around the hundred mark when I first ordered, I got 91 things and then I did a second little order just so that the shipping didn't go crazy and uh, made it over to 101 I believe different items because a couple of things papers I got multiples of but I have this this page here is the second one which had I had about a dozen 13 or so things and my friend grabbed a couple other things and the shipping didn't change and then I have three pages for the first order so that was the one that had the 91 items so I thought I'd share and have something a little bit special now this is something I have not ordered from scrapbook.com for over a year and I don't I haven't even made might even be 18 months and I haven't made um, a significant order really this year anywhere so I figured I'd spoil myself while I could so these were this is so heavy it's surprising that the shipping was so low with all the items including these so I got this one which is a border punch it is has a name because it came under I think it's the apron apron lace maybe oh yeah apron lace so it has it cuts out in that little notch that you can see here and then fiskers are a good um, quality and this one here makes the little shapes to make a bow so that'll be interesting. I'll have to work out how that happens. They're not they're gonna be a nice little size, I reckon. Even though it says extra large, it's because I don't so that's the back of it. So yeah, so that's the length of it there, because you can see the the fishtail banner section. And then this must fold over to make the bow, and then there's the middle part. So that'll be fun. A lot, a lot of fun. I'm just pulling out whatever I reach. I did put this punch in the second order. I did have it in the first one, but it was getting crazy. So, oh, use upside down for accurate. That's right. It does, I don't know if it's a bit tricky to see, it does these little fold over um, dividers, tabs. Let's see, where's some paper? Why is there never paper when I need it? That's not really true. There's paper everywhere. It's just trying to work out what I wanted to grab. So let's punch this. Well, that's cute. So it punches out this little, where's my hand, section here. And then you can fold over this one. It's not very easy to do when you're not looking like, you know, really close so you fold it over and then you can put your little tiny word under there and you have the tab that's colored on this side and then you have the color and the little word sticking out so if that makes sense I'm just going to turn you guys off and put the light on my camera hold on it's all a little bit better I don't know what's going on I have two studio lights have my bedroom light on I really can't work it out I think I might have to change the light bulbs but that's a bit brighter. So you can see, yeah, so you fold it over and you can put your tiny word under there. And that's a little bit fun. I thought that's really different. That will be a nice point of difference in a um, mini album or anything like that. So, so far, three punches. Some really um, big, you know, pops some big wow. And the other thing that pops a big punch is I brought the Memory Deck Spinner. I just recently got hooked on them. I didn't really care for them. Um, not that I didn't care for them. I didn't really know about them. And I thought, eh, I've got enough going on in my life in the scrappy world. And I recently got hooked. So I want to do that. The other thing is I'm returning to work in an office rather than um, from home. So it'll be fun to have something crafty to look at. And some photos of my children to look at in my office I just want to quickly have a, a glance just because I've never seen it in real life which is 
really like 90% of things. Ah, so it's like a, like a metal-y plastic. It's like metal but covered with plastic. Whereas I just thought it was plastic. And so it goes round and you clip them on there and you can have it. So you can see here on the side, you can buy goodies for it. But this is what it looks like when you can load it all up. You can do it however you want, sort of like a mini album in a 3D kind of a more form. I can't remember how that went. Oh, yes, I do. It went like this. Okay, so we have the memory deck, so I'm going to put it like that, so you can see the picture. Now, reaching into this box, oh, so to go with the memory decks, they didn't have the punch, so this punch here um, adds the little notches so that it can click onto the, the wheel. So instead I brought a pack here, these were pretty cheap anyway. It has 12 of the dividers and then 88 of just this lined paper. So here's the 12 dividers and then we have just the lined paper. So you can see here, that's interesting packaging. <laughs> so I figured um, they do have dies. So if you have a die cutting machine and I don't have a die cutting machine, I figured you'd probably be able to get cut files for it. But it doesn't seem like a thing, and I'm guessing it's because Heidi Swap made the punch, made these things, and the dies. But it's not really worth her time to um, allow people to make cut files. But I'll have a play. The other thing is, apparently you can use these as a template and use your little hole punch, punch the hole and just notch that there, and it works. So I've been watching a couple of videos. So that's what they look like. And you can see... Some of the dividers on the front here and you can add whatever you want to them. So that'll be a fun project. So let me know if you want to see what I am doing with those. How it turns out like a flip or whether you want to show me to show you the process. I'm happy to, to show you both or either. <clears throat> the other thing, I found these in the clearance. So... I did spend forever making the cart and then um, narrowing it down. But these were in the clearance section. And these are the little... Jeez, Heidi Swap, why is your packaging so tricky to get into? So these are the little numbers for the letter... Those, you know, those light-up boards like this. And what I thought, because they were so cheap, that... Oh my gosh, seriously, more packaging, was that it'd be fun to use them as titles or as a background on a layout. So, you know, you could write 2019 or if it's someone's birthday. I really thought that would be cool. And then so I brought also the alphabet, the, num the one with the letters in it, for the same reason. They were cheap. There's quite a few letters in the collection and um, they're a really good size. So it's not going to overbear the page, even though you could go a little bit bigger. But I thought that would be really fun way to, you know, you could spell out, you know, someone's name and it could be the title or something like that. I just, just thought it would be really cool and something different. And like I said, it was cheap. Now, one of the first things I decided... I wanted and which I while I was looking at scrapbook.com is I was trying to find another watercolor palette like a little pan thing because I've got the Amy Tan no I've got the Jane Davenport one which has got like the skin tones and stuff but I wanted and I really love the 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 colors and the tones and how vibrant they are and how it just nicely paints on uh, so I wanted her other one which had more of the classic colors and I had it in my cart, and by the time I like settled and worked it out, it was sold. So instead, I brought the classics of the Prima watercolour confections. So you can see the colours there on the front. Let's open it up. And I figured Prima's a good brand, and most people rave about it. And then when I told my friend, she said, yep, they're a good 
a watercolour set, so that's good. Open them up, and I really like how tiny these little, well, they're not even that tiny, they're, you know, they fit in your palm. But these colours are exactly the ones I needed. So that will be fun to, to use. And while I was on there, I got the Pastel Dreams one. So that's really fun. And that way, I don't think I will... I don't. I really don't need any more watercolours. But you know what it's like. Surely down the track somehow, sometime I will end up with another one. So this one's the Pastel Dreams. Let's just have a quick look. So those colours are divine. Look at this purple. So pretty. So we have those two. And just for good measure, I got this one here, which is Art Philosophy by Prima still. And these are metallic accents. And look, and they smell. They smell so nice. So look at the sheen and the shine on those colours. They are going to be awesome for ink splatters and backgrounds. So that is great. So there's 12 colours, semi-watercolour, metallic semi-watercolour. Activate with water and apply with a brush or a calligraphy nib. Perfect. So that is the watercolour awesomeness. This is, I'm pretty sure it's not going to fit in because I can't even fit a 12 by 12 in here at the moment. I know I have 12 by 12 paper and goodness in there. So we're definitely going to run out of space. So I don't know entirely while I'm making this pretty, but it's better than looking at a white screen and hearing me ramble. In my second order, I picked out some stencils. These were on clearance, this Easter ones, just some speckled dots. But they're all different sizes and randomly placed, so that's a really good um, neutral one. This one's called Circus, or it's part of the Circus collection. It's sort of like a little star, um, sun star, sunburst, and that's really fun. They've got, um, if you've ever scrap shopped on scrapbook.com, they have the, they have, um, like inspiration so things people have made from them they had a really lovely background with bright red it looks really lovely this one's fun i thought this would be fun for halloween a spider web and then i got this vicky Budin set so there's three here oh yeah so on the back here you can see so there's a cluster of dots more a circle geometric one and then an, like an ombre of circles that is a lot of fun as well can't go wrong with stencils. When I made the second order, we got this for free. We also got um, a magazine. I got magazine in both orders, so my friend will get one and I will keep one. I also um, saved like 15% and stuff like that. So just be, when you're um, ordering from scrapbook.com, just also make sure you're looking at the coupons and clearance and stuff like that because they have some awesome little freebies or good sales. So this is a Prima Spring Farmhouse journaling note cards. So I've never had one of these before. So this will be fun. So we have two. Oh, that's nice on the background. Two. One. Two. Three, it looks like. Oh, so that's all on the background. Oh, that's cool. So then there's a plaid. So it seems to be three of each. Wow, look at that wood grain. Pretty house. It's like a nice little postcard. Another little postcard looking one. Take me home. That's cute with a turn up in the, the middle. Do everything you love and you will be blessed. Very true. Another little postcard looking B. Oh, that, oh, that is awesome. Country gentleman. Oh, look at those roses. Wanda with a house. Little cross stitch. Some little uh, rabbits. Bunnies. Oh. And then lastly is some uh, farm animals. So that's a lovely little addition that we got for free. But Something that I would never purchase myself. So it's nice to trial this out. And you might find that it'll be your next new best product. Brought some sticker books. These ones are Heidi Swap because I was looking at the memory decks. 
I checked out what else she had in her world. And these are for the memory planner. And I am got a little memory planner hack happening. I don't want to buy the memory planner. So these are some little icons and some words, but also some phrases and icony stickers at the back there. So that one is a no name but if you want to know let me know because I'm sure it will say on my doc on my receipt and this one was a tropical vibe so this one has the, the squares oh look at those food <laughs> sushis some exercise ones and then some more of these little quote squarey ones or well, lots of them some nice meal planning ones oh look at those flowers so really, I did buy them because I have an idea to do a memory plan, but planner, but I'm not going to do it in the sense of needing all those little um, icons like these. I'm not going to plan in it. I'm doing more of a, a memory keeping in a planner style. So some of them I'll be able to use and some I will um, sell on or pass on. Oh. It sort of looked like they were a bit discoloured, but they weren't. Oh, look at all those words. That's such pretty green ombre. Gold and some flowers. Oh, they're lovely words. And some more words. So, yeah, they're cool. And they've got the, the cutouts down the middle, I'm assuming, fit in the memory planner. Something else I don't know anything really about. Ooh, a little paper baggie. So let's see what's in here. I haven't gone. Obviously, I know what I purchased because I ordered it. But you know when, especially when you order something so much, you forget what's, what you got. So another little clearance item, little stamp. This one, you can stamp the year in this half circle or this circle. And I figured you could either use it as a full or even cut it and just have that bottom half or even just use the year by itself and that goes up to 2021 and back to 2014 so that's a good range oh so perfect pearls now these were very very inexpensive and i think see i don't even know but some of these things i got because i'm never going to know if i don't try them so and they were Good prices from somewhere obviously a bit more like the memory decks cost a little but that was for a purpose oh it's all like shimmery powder oh so pretty let's see so this side up doesn't say but I'm pretty sure I would be starting to use it and obviously I'll have maybe a little Google search later. But I'd spritz some water down on my page and then I'd add it. Or I'd put some of this on a little palette and add some water and use it like a watercolour. That's my vision of what they would be used for. Or putting in modelling paste perhaps. Speaking of modelling paste, I got some of the Vicky Boudin Iridescent Glaze. Haven't had any of that before. Oh, can't get into it. Oh, look at it. So shiny. That's a beautiful. Cool. Going to have a play with that for sure. There we go. Another little baggie of goodness. Some more things that I don't have. So the Nuvo drops I have not had before. And I know they've been around for a long time. But I just never got around to buying them. But I thought I'd buy these little summery colours. Because I know I have the Gold Coast holiday to document. And always have lovely little summer photos that are nice and go with these colours. I hoard and purchase summer collections like there's no tomorrow so i got the four of those colors now do they tell you so i can tell you 
Caribbean Ocean is the blue. Are they all different? Crystal Drops. Uh, yeah, so this is... Yeah, this is a crystal drop as well. This one is dandelion yellow. Another crystal drop, yep. Yeah. This is bubblegum blush, a lovely pink. And then lastly is ripened pumpkin, which it's not really a pumpkin colour to me. Pumpkin is more of a darker orange, but they are definitely a beautiful colour. I have to get them out and use them. And the other thing is I just, one month or two months ago, we got the Stickles Diamond. Did we get Diamond or Crystal? Oh, <laughs> so we got Unicorn. And this is a lovely little glitter. It goes on clear and has all this glitter shimmer that stays on. So then I also brought the Crystal and the Diamond. So they'll be interesting to see how they differ. Does they look very similar? Do they look? So this one's a bit more iridescent. But yeah, okay. Well, we'll stay tuned and we'll see how they work. And then while I was there, I got some of the green and the red. So rhubarb and holly. Oh, this holly has red and green and gold. Oh, I didn't even know that. I just assumed it was green. Well, I got them because Christmas. The other thing I buy too much of is Christmas. So Christmas and summer, I do buy lots of boy stuff, but I don't um, have as much as Christmas and summer, I think. I think. I've never really checked that out. It's just, it's just a theory. So we have a lovely little baggie of stuff here. Another baggie. Oh, goodness, of stuff here. We have the scrapbooking and scrapbook and cards today magazine. So this is always good, but uh, not really one for magazines anymore. There's too much on the internet for me to to like. But when I get them, I do like to explore and. And see, it's nice to, to look at things. Sometimes, you know, tuck it in your handbag if you're going somewhere. Sport or to a you know, doctor's appointment or something. So that's always good to have. And then we have some 12 by 12. What I might do is start with the 12 by 12 stuff. Just because I did get a couple of things that are collection wise. So first up I got the Colour Fresh paper pad 12 by 12 by Heidi Swap. And so this is just lovely, really bright, fun colours. Very summery colours, I feel, but they're not, it's not a summer, like, scream in your face kind of collection. So we can use that in a variety of ways. Got some sticker sheets as well, because these are always good value. So Go See Explore by Laurie Whitlock from Echo Park. And some banners and some all different things. So this is a, a travelling line. Next up I got the Teen Spirit, the boy collection, because I think there's a Teen Spirit girl collection by Echo Park. And then so the good thing about buying this paper pack is you get all the papers, the two cutter parts, and then the sticker sheet as well. But see these here, you can cut them out. They're a good size for ephemera. But look at that sticker pack. That is really cool because it doesn't have any of the border stickers, which are sometimes take up a lot of space. And some, you know, I use them every now and then, whereas icon stickers I'm more likely to use. And especially, look at all these. Fry me. Player one. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. The bomb. Really love this collection. And so the papers are a bit fun and bright and out there. That's really nice. Some of the boy collections can be very babyish. Well, not babyish. They're, they're just for babies, really. And I did get the 6x6 paper pack for that one. So we can have a look at the, the patterns. And obviously, bear in mind, these are smaller versions of them. Well, that's cool with all little spots. 
I love that cassette. And then, so there's the small cut apart. Epic. Oh, look at all that one. And that red. Oh, just cracked open that red. <laughs> oh, look at the peace signs. Some sneakers. Some more. So we have a... Wow. That's unusual, isn't it? It says there's 24. And we have a six pages and they are repeated four times. And then we have them on the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we might have must have five pages repeated. Hmm, that's interesting. Good thing they are a good um, a variety of papers. So we have this acetate here, black and white stripe. Just got the card chipboard up, craft chipboard underneath it. So that is from Brazil, Basil. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. And then this is all the paper that I, loose paper that I chose. So they have like vacuum sealed it between two pieces of chipboard. Something that has never happened when I have purchased paper before. That is really cool. I might actually do the loose paper last. Just because if people want to oh, see the other things first and then opt in or out of the paper. So this baggie, I was going to say little, but it's not little. No way. Sorry for the crinkling. Now we have the designer stents for that teen spirit set. And I figured I would not always spend that little bit extra on stamps because there's something I don't always use. But this one is very icon with a lot of things that I could use in a variety of ways. doesn't have to always be just with that collection. So I did splurge on that one. And I did get the frames and tags for that collection. Again, 33 pieces. And so you can see with the glare what is in there. That rhymes. So two Traveller's Notebook inserts. Why does it say planner notebooks? Grey lined and grey grid. Okay, that could be okay. Oh. And grid. Oh, that's pretty inside. So they're fun. I did want blank ones. I must have last minute changed that. That's a bit crazy, but that's alright. I will work with it. I don't normally buy them by themselves. I, I always chuck them in a, in a purchase. And I haven't got any empty ones, so I need to, to get onto that. This one was another clearance item, something different. It's just an alphabet stencil. And I thought that would be a fun one to use not only in art journaling, but to have, you could trace around it or use mixed media to add it to your pages. I did get quite a bit of paper for the Pink Fresh Out and About collection. I did see um, Adele using it and I liked it. And because, like I said, I have a few vacations, like the Gold Coast one from April. So that'll be really cool. I just like the colours in it. It's not, um, it's more, um, I guess it's like new, gender neutral colours. You can do it forever and it's not for any of the genders it's not just like oh really girly and flowery and it's not really boy and you know gray and harsh or anything like that i did get the ephemera for color fresh look at that babe and it looks like yeah it has some acetate in there as well that's cool a vellum frame that's really cool because heidi swap did that with the wolf pack as well she surprised me with well not just me but it surprised me that it had acetate and vellum in there. So I was not expecting it. Another clearance item was these jumbo numbers. And they are on watercolour paper, I believe. They are white like that with little dots and stuff for putting mixed media on. And I thought they would be fun for like birthdays and um, Christmas. Anywhere that you need to write a number. Some stamps. So Heidi Swab had these stamps really cheap for stamps i figure so but these have got some really awesome like um emojis and other kind of 
was I also really liked, I'm going to open it. I like this little circle icon where the words can fit in. So we can you stamp this, or you could probably stamp them together maybe. Then you can put these, the OK is day. So you can put them in around you know, one or two. And then there's all these dates. Look at the lips. Oh, that's so cool. And this is cool as well. So you can stamp the old gosh in solid. And then there's the little lines that can have that little bit of texture on it so if you did two tone like you could stamp with the same color so if you stamp the oh gosh in the pink and then stamp the oh gosh with the lines in the pink as well it will darken those lines and it'll give you a lovely effect same with the killing it so that is awesome better than I imagined because I didn't see that it had those emojis on there I just seen it had I'm not gonna be able to get it in there's a bit of sticky stuff there I just seen it had this here and all these was really cool but this is just icing on the cake another little random clearance item is these Mickey and Minnie chipboard we went to uh, Disney Sea and Disneyland in Japan many years ago and I still have not scrapped it so why not grab it when I can now this is the second item after you know I've showed you all this but the first item was the the watercolor palette and the second one was these doodly circle stamps so a few companies have got them and I happened to land on this the ink road one so zinnia armor Daru. I wonder if that's what it's called so it has all these circles which will be fun for a, even just a scrapbooking background but also for art journaling but there's also these little Cute little sentiments and then these little shapes as well. That'll be fun to layer up and have going on in the background. Look at this pile. There is so much going on. Another cheap little bit and piece, bits and pieces. I think it's like a dollar. Some little star buttons. They remind me of the stars from Mario. Super Mario. I did. Now, this was on... Um, was free on the first day of I think summer sales and I didn't get it then because I wasn't sure what else I was getting and I was kicking myself because then all the other freebies weren't as cool as this one well to me anyway but this is a craft knife it's from we are memory keepers and I do not own a craft knife I do not own a you know Stanley knife or whatever you call them anything like that so I thought it was high time that I got my Self a craft knife and made myself a real crafter but I really like the way it looked to be yes the way you hold it it looks really comfortable ah oh, yes and because it is comfortable they're fairly straight lines that I just cut admittedly they're what like not even an inch long but <laughs> we can all dream that we're we're awesome and that is going to help us because tools like that help us, right? That's my excuse anyway for, for purchasing. And the last thing in this little baggie here is, get off me a piece of paper, plastic, is another Heidi Swap stamp. And this one here has some more bolder, scripty writing and bolder title kind of or um, icony words. But also, like I really like the um, inverted commas. That'll be fun to put on a project but they don't have the other way around so you can put it at the beginning but you can't put it at the end is that right hmm I'm probably I don't think I'm having a blonde moment but maybe I am but some hashtags and these are really like that I really like all what's on there and this was another one that was like three dollars so um, three dollars American obviously which but still is very cheap once it's converted to Australian compared to you know fifteen dollars US converted to Australian again this is the other baggie now this is the last baggie before the paper um, the 12 by 12 paper so if you don't want to check out what I brought in paper pa in the paper then after this little baggie I'll say bye to you I guess or you'll say bye to me Another little set of buttons. These are some red heart ones. Again, they were like a dollar. 
I brought this distress tool. Now, if you've watched any of my videos lately, I have a distresser. It is right here in my top drawer. Yes. Yes. It is here. Now, I was struggling to know whether it's just like getting blunt. And I seen this wasn't that expensive for what I thought they would be and I figured I'd grab it so there's a few different sections that you can use so that if they all you know if they start to wear and tear you have another section to use I don't think they're different like you know thicknesses where they could work more than you know distress more than one of the others I think they're all the same it's just the way it is made so that's another fun tool. So I did get a few tools. I've got the punches, craft knife, the um, distresser. Then I, you know, I got some paints and some. I've got a bit of everything. Like I say, it's just a spoil myself and see what I could get. Kind of a haul. Now these are the snap color vibe in the bright snap stickers, and this is 648 pieces because they're alphabets. So red, blue. Sort of like a um, green, a brown, an orange, and a pink. And I figured these colours out of the... There's a few different set colour select choices. Packs. Oh, it's a yellow. Um, I figured this was colours that I use more than the other packs. So this is the one that won. Some more words. This was on clearance. So these are some puffy little words well not little they're figures I guess and they're all travel themes so again come in handy oh it's like a little um surprise for me because they look it's upside down let's flip it over ah so these were another clearance item so these are magnolia moments puffy letter board and they are a pretty big letters so that's fun and they've got a nice little white and there's sort of like a um the darker as they go back i wonder if that's on purpose because it's the same letters i can see the numbers in the you know w y and z um but they've got these little notches in them on the on the sides of them so that's a fun little font something i haven't seen before and i figured white alphas can't go wrong another thing that i've been seeing everyone use and this is like spectacular value for money look at all the a's and then you go over and all the a's again on the side so there's heaps and even numbers down the bottom so this is from joyful day from the pink fresh and it just has all those beautiful lovely colors so that will definitely get a use another um, joyful day product is the thicker word so these are again um, puffy stickers and they've even got some flowers in them but I've seen some of the girls from Hip Kit use these in their titles, so they were really lovely. Couldn't pass them up. The Colour Fresh stickers. And this is interesting. These are huge on this side. And then we have some smaller, some numbers and some postage stamps, some more bigger ones. So it's very different. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. Again, with the Out and About Pink Fresh collection, these are like layered stickers here. So they're cardstock with layer and foam underneath them. Then we have some enamel shapes and some uh, enamel dots up the top here. And you can see the colours are just lovely. Again, with the same collection. Oh, it's, it felt like the little piece from here was puffy, but it's just thick cardstock. And these are lovely little puffy stickers good size not too little but not big at all and this was something else i seen which is why i was looking in heidi swap i seen someone use oh that nearly went missing there's something went flying it's sitting on my power board and there's all these stickers in here so 916 stickers heidi swap there's all these six pages here plus 24 more pages it says so have a good little flip through and these are just lovely colors look see inverted commas ah oh, so you just turn it upside down you guys were probably yeah i was having a blunt moment so that's the beginning then you turn it around you can still stamp it and you can have your oh my gosh i feel so dumb <laughs> 
And then, so these colours are just lovely. They go really well with the Colour Fresh collection, but also just love these colours in, in terms of they'll be fun for anything. Some of the gold. And they're all different so far, so that'll be fun. Some alphas. Ooh, some pink and white striped alphas. Some bigger, cooler stickers. Oh, some tiny black words. Some more. Really fun. So you can see this will be fun. This would be really good for your memory planner too if you're someone who does that. Traveler's Notebook. So these are the months. Smile as well and days of the week. Some random words. And these are more the cardstock stickers. So some orange or some red on some pink. Some green alphas. Green on green and some labels. And the good thing about them being cardstock is you can write on those ones. I'm going back to some awesome. Yeah, so they, oh my gosh, I really liked. All those pages were lovely. I don't even have room. I've got an avalanche happening. Now this is what nearly went flying and was sitting over on my power board. And I probably wouldn't have seen it. So luckily I did so I can share with you. Waffle flower stamp set with all these little emojis and look, heartbroken sleep cry feeling sick heart eyes that is awesome oh, very cute that was another clearance item that wasn't very much at all and this is the triangle stencil that goes with the teen spirit collection from echo park that'll be very versatile not only for that but for all kinds of goodness, some Bella Boulevard, happy birthday stickers, wish big they're called actually. And there's some cardstock. Look at the little octopus with all the presents. <laughs> it's like every child. So they'll be fun. A good little range of birthday stickers there. You really don't have any room. And lastly for that little bag is the cardstock stickers for Out and About. So we have a good range of labels and some circles, some stamps, tickets, banners, all goodness going on. Really helpful, good colouring, obviously, because the whole collection is the same colour and goes really well. So I'm going to dive into this paper now and I'll just quickly show you. I'm sure our video is quite long enough as it is, but I do have a couple that I purchased um, for a specific reason these I brought a couple of these Australia maps because of traveling uh, I love summer lovely wave, but I love the fish on the background I brought I looked for tags so cut apart tags. This is a good way It's like buying a packet of ephemera but for a couple of dollars because you're just buying a paper or a dollar even, whatever it is, depending on which one. This is really fun. It has the paper on the back that is like an um, exercise book. But I figure I'll fussy cut these one night. There's a couple of tag papers and have them sitting in a little container like my DIY embellishments do up on my bench here on my table. A Halloween piece. And this one's for the cutter parts mostly. But the good thing is the back there is good if I don't use any of, or if, I, you know, one of the cutter parts don't work for me. A Christmas one with all these little Christmas words. But again, tags. That's what I got it for. Look at the, the, the deer. So lovely. I really like this old, older kind of school Christmas vibe. Now, I brought a second one of the Teen Spirit stickers because I knew that I would use them. They are so very lovely. Photo play. I, now I got... Is, did I get a couple of these? Yeah, I got two of these. Because we went to Gold Coast, we went to SeaWorld for a couple of days. And I'm not only making myself an album, but also the family we went with. So I brought two cutter parts. And they're just really lovely. And it has that lovely little bubble, water bubbles on the back. Echo Park, best summer ever. Lovely flamingo and fruit. And then pineapples on the back. Again, summer travel vacation. This one here is Simple and Sweet from Pink Fresh. Uh, this one, I don't know how I'd use that unless I just cut it down to a 4x6. But this one here, I thought the strips would be really fun. 
to cut up and then add back onto the page in a distressed stitchy you know 3d texture and so if it was like a random page like that it's because it's in the clearance section i didn't just other than the tags if i look was looking for a certain thing i looked for it but otherwise most of the paper i got from clearance this is amazing of this sticker sheet so photo play it's trickle treat element stickers and they just have some awesome things this is interesting the candy corn don't know that I would use that but I do we did one time buy them but I don't know if I took a photo I don't know that I took a, if it's really that relevant that I need a whole border strip of them photo play again and this is Jurassic so dinosaurs I know I've got quite a few photos of my boys when they were younger at the Dinosaur Museum here in Canberra. So we have some out and about pages. There wasn't all of them, but that's okay. Work with what we got. So the cut apart, it's called Bucket List. And it's really cool, some little labels and squares and tickets, some more different size ones and then the 3 by 4 size. On the back is a yellow triangle. This one here I purchased for the wood green, but on the back is a lovely just exercise stripe, exercise book. Oops, Splash Zone this one's called, and I've got two pages, some yellow sunbursts and some clouds purchased for that one, but both sides really, once I cut it down. I love summer flip-flops. This is lovely with the starfish and the shells, but I brought it mostly for the flip-flops. Uh, another cut apart that is just fun. Photo play, let's go, think to remember. So this one's got some tags on the bottom, which is where I would have found it. But I just liked how different it was and how cool it would be fun to use. And also... A lovely little stripe rainbow stripe on the background so again with the out and about this one's got some geo tags and some words and I love this little rainbow pattern on the background with the um, you know the contour matic mapping and some trees that's the word so simple stories oh happy day another one is a little tag cut apart kind of thing but this is two by two squares and I just love how bright and fun this will be this would be good for Gold Coast, but also um, for putting, cutting it apart and putting it in that little container of tags that will be on my desk. Speaking of tags, we've got the Pebbles Speak, Spooky Boo collection. This is really fun. Tag, banner, banner, tag, banner, tag, banner. I've not seen uh, that kind of thing happening before, so that'll be fun for Halloween. Just a plain dot on the back. I really like, most of the time when we've got a little cut apart on this side, there's a nice little neutral, plain, uh, wow, look at the branding strip um, thing going on the back. So if you, you know, for instance, didn't like this one, you could still cut it out and I would use it on the background. Now this one I brought three of the same because I'll be able to use it on a variety of projects. But I counted it as one item when I say that I have over 100 items in my collection, in my haul here. Now, this is from Color Play. It's a Color Me um, page from Fishtails. And so this will be good for documenting, documenting the beach and SeaWorld trip when we went to Gold Coast. So, yes, three of them. This is really cute. Just horsing around. It's a seahorse. Want a hug. Just your jawsome. It's just really cool really fun another tag cut apart one indigo and ivy from pink paisley and they're just really good neutral colors that will just blend in with most of what i scrapbook with without having to buy the whole collection because i already brought enough <laughs> so out and about again this is a little map and then some arrows and some fun little pattern Another out and about, this one's called Explore, and this one's got some lovely little circles. I don't know that I'd use it on that side. It'd be a bit um, tricky for me, but I do like this triangle, a red triangle on the other side. Another sticker sheet, this one is Little Man by Laurie Whitlock, and Echo Park made it. And this is just a really fun boy collection without being 
babyish. It's nice little toddler kind of preschooler age. Some nice banners down here. And some lots of little icons and a couple of words. Sometimes it can be the other way around. Lots of words and a couple of icons. Another one for Gold Coast. This is Under the Sea from Echo Park. Again, a really um, fun. And it goes with the... Um, I think I got... Goes with this one, I think, really nicely. But I also got a couple of other papers. So it goes with that colour. But I'm sure I remember seeing something. The colours remind me of that teen, teen story one. Was it called? Yeah, Teen Spirit collection. Maybe that's what I'm getting mixed up with. But that'll be fun to add onto that kit that I'm going to make. Another one that I found by... Get, get apart, please. Oh, that paper is so lovely and thick. Another one I got from Searching Tags. This is Jilly Bean Soup Rainbow Rainbow Rocks. However you say that. And this is just lovely. Look, super cute with an echidna and the pineapple with glasses. So that, again, you'll be able to cut them out or I'll be able to cut them out and put them in that little tag ephemera box and be able to use it in a variety of things. Again, a nice little colour in the background. Another one I purchased for the wood look background. So this is from Simple Stories, Snap Basics, and then it has a ledger on the back. So that'll be good to use in a, either way. Halloween Town by Echo Park. Nice purple on the background because then there's the cutter parts on this side. Double, double, toil and trouble. So that and the Monster Mash. So, yeah, just cute. Another thing I like to hoard, Halloween. <laughs> Lucky we do have our own little party situation going on, seeing as we're in Australia and it's not everywhere. So, photo, fla bleh, photo play fish tails. So, this goes with the other one. Goes with this one a bit as well. Not as um, bright in your face, but it's still a really lovely bits and pieces so aquarium and showtime those kind of things really go well with the fact that we were at sea world for a couple of days <laughs> kiss me <laughs> cute another baby well, not much left now guys another baby collection hello baby from echo park and it's just got some lovely little pieces so some lovely animals and change table that's interesting and a cot the numbers for um, the first 12 months, little bottle and some clothes. So very cute. Our new arrival. Wow, that banner is lovely. So that is fun. Be added to my baby stash. Twas the Night Before Christmas, Volume 1 from Echo Park. And I love uh, the trees, but also the, re the deep red and green that's happening. Another cut apart sheet. So this one's Pink Paisley from Whimsical. And so we've got the tags down here and some words, some more journaling size up here. And these will be fun to punch out with a one inch punch. And again, lovely, a, more of a neutrally toned pattern on the back. Booze and Brews from Doodlebug Design. So a lovely in your face bright orange. But look how cute the little spiders are with all those spider webs. So that'll be fun. Christmas delivery, a hound's tooth on this side. And then all these lovely little cut aparts so that will be fun. So these are more, um, you could cut them apart as ephemera because they're all different kind of sizes and shapes. They're not like project life size cards or anything like that. Now some gold with glossy gold maybe if I knew what I was talking about some orange with some glossy orange dots this is a vellum sprinkles vellum from doodlebug and some of the black as well but fun to add to Halloween or anything really and then last but not least is the out and about tickets page so that'll be fun to cut out and use but also look how cute that is on the back so, oh my goodness, we have, now that it's not compact, a whole pile of paper and stickers, and then we have all this goodness going on. So we have stickers galore and stamps and buttons, 
Anyway, I don't need to go through it again and tell you because you've already seen what is happening with all this amazing goodness. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't enabled you too much because this was a bit of a crazy... Oh no, my 6 by 6 paper pad just fell down in between my desk and my other desk. But hopefully I haven't inspired you, enabled you too much. But hopefully there's a couple of things that you feel you got a bit of a closer look up at and you are interested to, to purchase. I only say I'd, hopefully I haven't inspired you too much because obviously this is like a, a once in a couple of years or a lifetime purchase. It was a lot. It was, um, you know, my own birthday and own Christmas and Mother's Day. Presents all combined to myself from myself. And I will continue on my uh, spend less or none for the rest of the year, probably even next year. The good thing about that, getting kits, is that I don't feel I have to spend all the time. Anyway, I'll stop my rambling and I will let you get on to your next video. Hopefully you've had a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.